Gemma, thank you very much for being willing to be interviewed. Um, you um, tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay, hi, thank, thanks, Andy. Um, my name is Gemma, and I live in Thorna, and where she put St Peter's Church in Thorna, and work at um, Thorna Primary School. So I have been there since 2013. I qualified as a teacher back in 2007, so 13 years ago now. I seem like a lifetime ago, but also just like yesterday. So at Thorna, I am deputy head and senko, and um, from this September coming, I will be acting head teacher. So an interesting time for me from September. Wow, yeah, that's going to be really um, exciting, interesting, a very, very different time to become an acting head teacher from yeah, normal. Absolutely, absolutely, yes. It's been a, a, a challenging few months in school, as, as it has for, for many people in, you know, in all walks of life and all different jobs and in their own personal lives too. So, yeah, but very, very excited for getting the children back into school in, in September. It's been very strange not having them all you know, together in, in the school building. And yes, we've done our very best to keep the school community together in lots of different creative ways. But I must admit, I'm you know, really excited for September having the children back in, back in school. That's what makes the school. Yeah, there, very so. exciting. So where do you see God in your life? Um, I think f for me, some, I think for me, the most pertinent thing is in both in my life and in my role as a as school leader really is that love one another as I have loved you I, that just that that part of the the bible that really is something that I hold really close to me and and think have done for it for a long time and it plays an important part of my role in school really uh, as a leader and well, not just as a leader just working in school it's um it, it comes with that responsibility i think for, for lots of diff different children um, that you know come through the school and families and um the staff that and you know your colleagues as well that you work with and i just think that everyone is so special and unique and I feel very privileged in the role that I do to have the opportunity to kind of touch so many people's lives but also be touched by so many people's you know different people's lives as well and have that opportunity to um, be hopefully a really positive influence and you know hopefully a positive inspiration as as well to others and I think it's um, definitely sometimes challenging to do you know you, you, you work with and, and meet and um, lots of different people and and everyone has different agendas different feelings different personalities and I think it's just kind of harnessing that um, love for one another and that appreciation of each other each other's uniqueness and um, really kind of draw, drawing out the best in people and trying to, to model that in all that I do I guess um, for me teaching is something I've always wanted to do from a, a very young age from yeah well it was that or midwifery but I, I, I wasn't sure I would cope well with the uh, with the uh, sleepless sleepless nights um, so I think I've always loved other people I guess so it's something that is just maybe part of who I am and I just feel really privileged that in my job, as much as it's tiring and challenging and has been over the last few months particularly, um, I see it as a real privilege really to, to have the opportunity to, to live that faith out, to, to kind of have that opportunity to, to, to love others mm. and encourage others to, to love each other. Yeah, so. yeah, living the, the faith out in your yeah. life. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, so, Today's service is about being persistent in prayer. Where have you in your life had to be persistent? I think probably in my job, really. And um, I'd say each year, and I certainly won't you know, get political, but in schools, it, it, 
it seems to be more and more challenging kind of financially for schools um, and um, there's lots of children that you, you you teach and you work with in, in the school that have different needs for you know a variety of reasons sometimes special educational needs or you know family life um, you know proves challenging in lots of different ways and year on year um, I guess as as my role both as deputy but as um, as SENCO special educational needs coordinator mm -hmm. A big part of my role is really getting the right support for children in schools and for families as well. And I say it just becomes increasingly challenging to, to get that support. And mm. and then um, with COVID in the mix as well, that has kind of um, brought about different challenges because services are understandably harder to access um, and you know funding also. And so I think. I've had to be really persistent, not just recently, but for a long time, but particularly recently, in really kind of chasing that support for the children um, mm. that, that need it and the families that need it. And it's, it's hard really, because the job is really busy and, and hectic. Um, and it's just kind of having that persistence to, to keep going, to, to know what it is that you need and, and to keep kind of knocking on doors or you know asking for that help and and also building the trust of the families as well and and kind of reassuring them that you're doing all that you can for them and sometimes mm. it feels difficult because you feel that you want to do more quite often you want to be more do more but you're kind of tied um you know bound by what you're you're able to do so i think that's somewhere that's part of my life that i have to be really persistent and and prayer comes into that too lots of times as well just praying that we can get get the right help and and, and do what all we can for, for for the children fantastic yeah so that i mean that really links in with the the story that um for today which is of a, a woman being persistent on behalf of um a child that is in need so that's exactly <laughs> what you are doing in yeah. on behalf of the these children who who need help um that's great yeah. um so just i think that's the, where as much as i say it's you know the challenging aspect of the job it's also um where some of the rewarding parts come because when you you are persistent and you know you keep firing those emails and making those phone calls and filling in the form after form and um you know when you get that kind of success or you know you're able to open up an avenue for a family or offer support um and sometimes it's not just about the you know other services i think sometimes it's about that that kind of ongoing support that you can give to others as well and that reassurance sometimes but yeah definitely helps when you can get the support that you need for them mm, fantastic well thank you very much for being willing to to talk to me today um and i hope you have a really good um time of rest and recuperation over the summer in preparation for yes. september yeah, thank you, Andy. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting time ahead, I think, as for everyone. So mm. We see how things things pan out and on level, but I'm uh, looking forward to to September and getting the children back into school. Thank you.